go. Crash and flow. Okay, bro. So you are halfway through the Cat Williams podcast, you say? Yeah, man. Cat Williams. Okay. Yep. You know, you know what the number is on how many views that 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 uh, podcast got? It's by the way, it's two hours and forty six minutes long, which yeah. is not an easy right. thing for you to get high views on. No. And if if anybody listening to this doesn't know who Cat Williams is, that's why it's because Cat's not always in the public eye. Right. Right. He's not a comic that's he's, always he's on Netflix. Often overlooked. Or, there's he's, nothing on Instagram, right? How yeah. many Instagram clips compared to? You name it. Yeah. You might, uh, actually, if you are a comedian, uh, 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 comedy fan, you might start seeing, mm-hmm. you might have started seeing Cat Williams' uh, clips just coming up. Just That's now. Just now in the last, like, two weeks or All a week of the same. Bit. It's because of the fact that, um, of this podcast. Yep. Right? This podcast has, you want to take a venture at how many views this podcast has? Dude, I don't know. Like, like I have no idea, actually. 45 million. Wow. That's a country. <laughs> All right, forty-five million. Let's see, club sh- club Shay Shay. Let's Is that what Shannon <laughs> Sharp's? Yeah, weekly podcast. podcast. It, it That's should something. Be better. It should be better. It's something either you come up with or your wife comes up with, and nobody has the balls to say no. <laughs> club Shay Shay. Okay, so get this right. Yeah. So cat. So I, I'm I'm sorting I'm sorting his podcasts by views. Right. Okay. The closest one to the top. So by the way, Cat, Cat Williams, number one, mm-hmm. number one, most most viewed on his uh, on his YouTube. And Shannon Sharp's a retired football player. Yes, he's uh, a big man who was like did Skip Bayless's podcast uh, show, show and now is on, on ESPN, was it? Yeah. yeah. All right. Number two position is Steve Harvey, and that's ten million views. Whoa! So the number two spot is ten million. The number one spot is forty five million. Cat Williams in one podcast mm. put him. On everyone's list, yeah. he he put everyone in the top of everyone's head. People are responding. This, everyone's responded. They're, they're trying to respond. Cedric the Entertainer has responded. Ludacris has responded. Steve Harvey has responded. Now, you might be listening, dear listener. What are they responding to? Okay. The Shannon Sharp podcast with Cat Williams was Cat Williams deciding that I've stayed quiet long enough. Mm-hmm. I have... I have swallowed my pride i haven't pointed out the failures of our, the comedians within his community he just took it in stride he didn't say anything and today was the day when nobody was expecting it right <laughs> no one's asking for it there's no run-up yeah there's no run-up <laughs> no one just recently called cat williams out on something nothing and he just went he, on this podcast even on during the podcast it's not like shannon sharp was like hey man what's bothering you yeah he wasn't teeing him off for no. like hey you need yeah and Cat Williams just decided that he was going to air out everybody. Yeah. Every, Kevin Willie, uh, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Yeah. Um, Smiley. And Ricky Smiley. Ricky Smiley. Cedric the Entertainer. Everyone caught. Everyone. They weren't even strays. It seemed like he was there and he was methodical in all of the shit that he had to say. He seems dead sober and organized. <laughs> yeah. Very organized. Yeah. Um, now, here's the thing. Right? Joe Rogan even caught a stray. <laughs> and Joe Rogan's like, hey, hey. I, we love you. Come I like on the you. podcast. I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, true to tr- true to like Joe Rogan has never trashed Kit, Cat Williams, no. right? Um, he he uh, freaking loves 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 stand up. So, uh, let's go, let's go with the highlights. Let's go with some highlights, right? Yep. First of all, the guy who's who seems to have cat, caught the most ire was yeah. Ricky Smiley. Did you know who Ricky Smiley was? No, this? not until no, Cat Williams put him on a map. He was the least known yeah. out of those guys. And that guy was getting pummeled. It was like, uh, eventually, it was like that that Sam, uh, the Simpson meme. Yeah. Where he's oh. like, yeah. stop, he's dead already. <laughs> so essentially calls him out on, so uh, to Cat Williams, uh, from Cat Williams' side, he says that there's a lot of people in the industry, whether it's movie industry or stand-up comedy um that have been talking shit and they shouldn't be talking this type of shit yeah i just saw ricky smiley i still don't know who that is but yeah please continue (laughs) and um they have said some things that were untrue and cat williams decided that okay i'm just gonna put the uh the record straight with regards to ricky smiley now Mm -hmm. ricky smiley i don't know specifically about his stand-up or whether or not everything anything was stolen but he said some shit about cat williams about whether he could get roles or whether he was relevant or whatever Cat Williams took offense to this, and he's like, hey, listen, I'm a professional. I'm good at this job. I'm good at acting. I bring more to the table than you have ever done. 
how dare you even bring my name up, right? That one was the one that I wasn't that interested in because I didn't watch a lot of the like Ice Cube movies. I was realizing that yeah. I should go back and watch some Ice Cube I movies. I can guarantee you no one is interested in it because it's just like, that's probably the person he has the most beef with, but nobody knows who that right. is, Cat. Yeah, yeah. He's, you're one level above, you know, like, yeah. I don't know. Um, so that's number one. Yeah. Uh, number two, and this one was m- more interesting to me, uh, was the Cedric the Entertainer. Really? I thought okay. Steve Harvey was. No, I'm going, I'm going in in order of getting more and in, more in, interesting as it goes along. So, okay. so, so the, so Cedric, the entertainer actually, uh, stole his jokes, Cat mm-hmm. Williams jokes. Cat Williams did it in BET in 1998. And then Cedric, the entertainer does it in, um, Kings of comedy. Mm-hmm. And so Cat Williams has a problem with Kings of comedy. Yeah. Like, because the, he, as far as he's, he can, uh, as far as he's, uh, his concern that he is concerned a lot of these guys stole bits from him specifically. Mm-hmm. And he was saying, if they're going to steal from me, from material that I've done on BET, on TV, mm-hmm. then they're stealing from other people. Mm-hmm. These people don't write. Mm-hmm. So he said, he, blanket statement, Cedric the Entertainer, he can't write. Mm-hmm. Now, I have a little clip for you for sure. the Cedric the Entertainer. All right. Uh, let's see. Let me bring this up. Man, so many receipts nowadays, right? Like, you can... Cedric told you when you asked him, did you steal Cat Williams' joke? Yeah. He said... It was ridiculous. You know what I mean? It was like the idea of the joke Cedric. that he was even talking about don't even match up with no timelines. How it don't line up that I did it on TV in 2018? You came to see me at the Comedy Store do it in 2019 and then did it on the Kings of Comedy. So the... Yeah, I remember this yeah. is the only... Yeah. This might be the only thing I remember from Cedric. Right, yeah. And here's the best part. Man. Yeah. The only thing that Cedric changed was he said spaceship instead of, like, a car. Why is the music the same? <laughs> yeah, I know. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, let's get another track, dude. Yeah. Like, what doesn't line up? I. This is a televised joke. I have no idea what this brother is talking about. <laughs> that joke is over 30 years old. Bro, mm. bro, he's saying he has no idea. It looks pretty similar to me. I watched the full thing. Now I know um, the clip that I'm showing you right now is not the the full thing. You you, you guys, if you're interested, go watch. Go There's watch a few it. actually. A I, saw, I didn't see that one. I yeah. saw a different one. I also think that uh, if you got to put your name, you know, like like what you do in your name, mm-hmm. I'm Cedric, the entertainer. It's not a good sign. No, <laughs> it's it's not. I should already know from your first from your name. Yeah, we shouldn't have to know. You know, it's like this is Jason, the plumber. Like, dude. You know, that's it's not good. Here's the thing: it wasn't even a throwaway joke by Cat. Hmm. That's his clo- that was his closer at the time. Mm, Cedric stole his closer, yeah, and put it up there. Now, there's other there's other examples. People have put supercuts together. If you go on Reddit, you can go deep on this type of stuff. Mm-hmm. But that was Cedric the Entertainer. Yep. What's even worse is that Cedric the Entertainer doesn't actually call him a liar. Hmm. He just says it was a really old joke. Yeah, right. A lot of the things that are happening, a lot of these people who are coming back yeah. and talking to about like what Cat Williams is saying, they might say he's crazy, but they're not calling him a liar. Mm. There's no. a lot of proof just floating around. Dude. He said he could run a, what, a 440? I saw him do that. You sent me the video. I saw him, I saw that him. old man yeah, yeah. can pedal. I'm not, I don't know <laughs> if it's a 440, but that is a fast little dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude, come on. That's a fast 50-year-old. 50 50-year-old. 50 50-year-old. <laughs> yeah, it did not look slow at all. Probably fell and <laughs> had a lay down right after that. <laughs> 40, but he ain't lying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. His, uh, his footsteps are so short, it sounds like a toddler's running. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's actually scary. You're like, oh, shit. Is it Chucky? Is that Chucky? It's Cat. Oh, shit. Anyway, um, so there's that. He called out Luda? I didn't see that. Yeah. What do you say about Luda? It, let me see if I can find a quote because yeah, this might sure, be man. more fun. This yeah, might be yeah, more why fun. Why not? Uh, calls out Luda. It's, and the way how he calls out Luda is, is crazy, bro. What, what, what he accuses him of is ridiculous. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Okay, this dude. He called him out for having an ugly wife. Is no, that the no, wife going no. like that? <laughs> Are you related to Luda? No. Um, so there was a crossroads where we were both invited to an Illuminati thing. <laughs> and it had to be one or the other of us, and decisions had to be made. So it was both of us. We were equal. One of us had to cut off all their hair and couldn't do the sideburn thing no more with the points. 
What? And the winner for the best rap album goes to... Ludacris is your year, baby! So y'all telling me all I had to do was cut my hair to win the best rap album? That's what y'all telling me? Huh? Hold on, I want to see the... Fi oh, shit. Was he mad at Luda for stealing his hairstyle? I <laughs> know, I don't Here. think so. <laughs> I mean, I get it, I... but... Um, but there was <laughs> there was there was a couple more things to it. It's funny because Make him to, up. I like him. Come the, on. the only thing to uh, the only thing to prompt Cat yeah. was like Shannon was like, "Are you related to Luda?" And he's like, "Okay, so there was an Ilum Illuminati dinner." <laughs> That's so funny, right? And uh, that bothered Luda so much. Yeah, Luda put out a a diss track. No way <laughs> on Cat Williams. Yeah. <laughs> when did this happen? Why did we? Uh, Why isn't Cat bigger? Response. To Cat Williams. Okay, let's see if I can find the actual uh, freestyle, if you will. Cat Williams had like Kevin Hart energy before Kevin Hart. I think it's a little man thing. Like a lot of movement when you're that small. Yeah. You got a lot of sugar. <laughs> Whatever's heavy on my heart is always on my mind. Like Snoop's cannabis shredder, I'm always on my grind. They throwing shade because niggas could never take my shine. I bring my watch collection on my jet. Let me take my time. Like fine wine, I'm aging like Benjamin. Top five, I'm worth mentioning. Bring me rappers, I'm lynching them. See the pendulum swing, Jesus with diamond thorns. Ludacris, swaddled in Gucci linens when I was born. Never been Illuminati, only a Illuminati. And I only left with bitches when coming from any party. Now I'm married with kids, the evolution of life. Never been a clout chaser, never say shit for likes. R.I.P. John Singleton. You never have to flex when you earn every one of your Fast and Furious checks. Afro with the sideburns. Yeah, that's my signature. Addictions on the rise. Comedians, check your temperature. It's okay. No, it's not good. It's weird. It's yeah. It's weird, Luda. Yeah. Don't why are you, it's first not of a good all, diss track. No, it's not. That's number one. Number two, why are you even responding? Hmm. I think you have to. I don't think so. In hip hop you have to. When somebody claps at you, yeah, you can but, shoot them supposedly. Yeah, but like here's the thing. That's yeah. a comedian going after you. You're not gonna go around and make a track. Also, Ludacris. Also, he didn't say anything bad. Kevin from that clip, maybe he did, but yeah. like that clip, I'm like, what do you say? The main thing was Saying that he was on, he was an Illuminati. Like the reason why he got famous was because he joined the Illuminati. Yeah, <laughs> you know. But for for him for it to compel Luda mm -hmm. to go in the studio again, mm -hmm. we haven't seen. I don't know. He had to blow the dust off of the mixer. I, he was <laughs> like, "What can I re? What can I put Cat in?" Right? Or everyone's just trying to jump on this tidal wave that Cat Williams created. Mm. Right? Where he just. It's amazing because, like, he's he didn't even like honestly like I was listening to it. It's more entertaining than hatering. It's a lot of hatering, dude. The first hour is mainly hatering. Yeah, right. But it's funny. It's funny. <laughs> but it's... I don't even think he takes it seriously. At some points, he's like he's taking a sip of his alcohol. And he's like, <laughs> like he just doesn't. Like I think he uh, knows it's a joke. I think it's it's solid hatering. Yeah. The whole that's why it's so good. Right. That's why it's forty million, bro. What are you talking about? No, I know, but I feel like he's injecting a lot of it with just. It's f it's funny to him too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. It's if it's just hatering without the funny, then it's not even entertaining, right? right? Yeah, but yeah. it's definitely like he, I don't know. I'm he has this written. <laughs> I'm listening to him on the way here. I'm like, what are you talking about? It's all hatering. He's mm. organized this. Yeah, and he remembers every like he's probably like memorized this. Yeah, down to I think a it feel like it's written in his in his journal. Yeah, I like it. I uh, I'm kind of surprised. Uh, what that he would like hold this in for this long you know it is odd right right or is this the is this like black folks saying uh don't fight in front of white people so don't call out your own your own stand-up comedian he's grown up like that thing is that he's a 50 year old man you're yeah, not gonna like, tell him shit like now. he's no i think yeah. that's the reason why he was quiet for so long oh okay right yeah because yeah, yeah, these yeah. guys are big like steven uh, steve uh, steve harvey cedric the entertainer they're established big big name comedians mm -hmm. and maybe cat williams didn't view him well also you know maybe cat williams didn't view himself mm -hmm. as as big as those guys which he's, is true he's not he's as big not. as those guys um but the thing is is undeservedly like he should be so. yeah it's odd because i was talking to you about this yeah and we were saying hey it's like we've seen a lot of Cat Williams specials. He's very good. I've listened to every special. I've listened to eight specials. I'm not even exaggerating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In like three weeks. Yeah. And you go to Steve Harvey's. You know what? It's tough. I totally get the guy. I just didn't expect him to sit down 
and be like, <laughs> and you know, just be like, he stole all his shit from Mark Curry. <laughs> He's opened it for Mark Curry. I wasn't expecting this video is for that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, and Mark Curry Thunder was or Earth, Earth, earthquake, earthquake. Yeah, shitting on earthquake. No, no, no. He, he. I thought he backed earthquake. He backed. Did earthquake. he? I thought he was saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He but he's saying that people stole from earthquake. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought he said earthquake can't read, which is probably still true. Even I mean, that's backing. also true. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> that could also be true. All right, here's the Steve Harvey one. Yeah. All right, here we go. This one I gotta refresh. So we start from the top here. This cat is hot. Please put your hands together for Cat Williams. Saying you are not supposed to be at the gas station making life decisions. Can't even pump gas like you used to no more. If you put $15 in your tank, you had time to bond with your vehicle. You had time to put the nozzle in and... Put the nozzle in there and hit it. Set the clicker and look through your car and clean off the dashboard. And be sitting there talking, be on your phone. Hey, what's happening? Be Damn. walking around, yeah. dude. Atrocious. The windshield. Run in the store, get some Pringles. I'm actually upset as a comedian. Yeah. Still be pumping. Okay, you go in there, bring me a wine cooler. Bring me a cooler, dog. <laughs> Not no more. You can't even turn around good for that son of a bitch click. As soon as you put it in, just click, click. <laughs> get in there, start it up, and you can't believe that damn needle is a quarter tank of gas. Okay, it's also done worse. That's way worse. That's, wow. That's egregious. Yeah. That should be money. That should be... Yeah, you should give him money. Yeah, that should go to court. You should give him money. Yeah, that's like stealing somebody's beats. <laughs> Bro, you know what's... <laughs> and the lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, you kill... Yeah, I didn't you expect that. That is bad. That also, bad. The, the... Like, he introduces Cat Williams. <laughs> Steve Harvey is introducing Cat Williams Bro. back in the day. Yeah. He does the joke. And then a few years later at Kings of Comedy, he's wearing his baggy dress pants yeah. and he's doing the same joke. <laughs> Man, that's really, um, that's blatant. Yeah. Where I'm like, I don't know how Steve the audacity Harvey too. can show his face. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. And like you said, he did it worse. He did it worse. That's insane. Yep. Couldn't even, you couldn't even do like, you know, when they're like Carlos Mencia, they're like, but he did it better. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> they can't even say that no more. I know, man. <laughs> Holy shit! Here's the here. The thing is, is what I'm ser- what I'm surprised about. Yeah, is that you know when Kings of Comedy came out, Cat Williams was already on his third third special at least. Yep. So in the black community, mm-hmm. he, Cat Williams is a well known name. Mm-hmm. That's kind of bold for Steve Harvey to just pull that bit. Well, I don't think that was on the Kings of Comedy, was it? Uh, I think that outfit is the Kings of Comedy. I think that hair does not look like. Oh, it's you the know Kings what? It's more recent. It's yeah, even more recent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Either way, I mean, it kind of shows like Steve. Man, maybe the, that guy's not a comedian. Yeah, don't write. They don't write, man. Yeah, that's crazy. Cat Williams. Yep. Well, here's the deal. Yeah. Uh, I'm hoping for more Cat Williams. To be honest with you, I want to see. I don't want to see more of him hating. I don't think that's. I think, it's it's. Uh, it's done its job, mm-hmm. whatever it is, 45 million. You yeah. got it, right? Now go back, just do more comedy. Yeah. I want you to be able to get a Netflix deal. He has one. Oh, he has one? He had a special come out less than a year ago, bro. How did I miss that? Everybody missed that. Fuck. They won't miss the next one. Right. They won't miss the next one. No, they will not miss the next one. That is yeah. true. That is true. There's one from last year. He's touring I was right now. It last night. Like... Oh, I'm sure now it's sold out. It's sold out. Dude, it's like, you know, freaking. Sometimes you don't need to get slapped by Will Smith to sell out, right? Like no, you, don't. you can you can just do this. Yeah. Go on the Shay Shay. Yeah. I don't like Shannon Sharp must be like, damn, we sure. gotta have him back. Yeah, of course. Forty five million? <laughs> if he's smart, he's gonna have Steve Harvey and then like Like he, bring all the guys back again. <laughs> have that this Ricky Smiley guy yeah, 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 who yeah. nobody knows. No one knows, yeah. Yeah. Ice Cube even did a response. What Ice Cube said. But uh, Ice Cube is a very positive guy, right? He's um, like, Hey guys. And then he also said, like, listen. Most of what Cat Williams said was true yeah. um, with regards to like the movies and the things like that. But he said like, you know, the, we had the other guy audition for different roles. It wasn't like he was he was given this one and we had to bump him out right. because it was like like there was more drama the way how Cat Williams explained it. In that movie situation. With yeah, Ricky's, yeah I so agree. Ice, Ice, Ice Cube was like clearing that out. Yeah. And then he's like, OK, we weren't planning to film any rape. <laughs> uh, so because I don't even like that shit. <laughs> And when Ice Cube says it, yeah. I feel like I believe him. You know, yep. um, he's like, "We're we're just trying to make a good movie." And 
he he clear he clears up some of like how do we say because everything that cat williams says is like it's this truth and then there's exaggerations that's built into the whole thing right mm -hmm. so i get i i think ice cube was just kind of cut, cutting through like the the hyperbole a little yeah. bit no i agree yeah. You could tell it's bothers Cat Williams. I don't even know what movie they're talking about. Even in this moment, yeah. I barely. I don't know if I have I've, you seen Friday and next uh, next Friday. I saw first one. Okay, yeah, yeah. I yeah. wasn't gonna watch next Friday. Yeah, I could read the writing on the wall. <laughs> I think I want to go back and see it just because of the fact that it seems. Mm -hmm. uh, ever since I saw Ice Cube go on Joe Rogan's podcast as well, yep. and then um, and then now this. I feel like it's it was an important part of culture at that time that I kind of missed out on. Friday was one of the biggest movies I thought that was, you know, when you're like kid, you think Independence Day is the biggest movie yeah. of all time. It might have been, though. It might have been. Yeah. But like Friday for in my middle school was the, that was it. Right? This is the best movie that's ever going to be thought it was like right up there with like, you know, Sound of Music or like something, <laughs> you know, just this is historic. <laughs> Damn. All right, all right. <laughs> you don't know. You're yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. You have no uh, actually, you know. Uh, speaking of of you know maybe winning an Oscar or whatnot, mm. Joe Coy, Joe Coy, Golden Globes, Golden Globes hosting. So he hosted Golden Globes. Yeah. If you don't know who Joe is, he's Filipino. You're not Filipino, dude. I didn't know. <laughs> if you, you don't, know who Joe Coy was five years if you, ago, if you don't know who Joe Coy is, you're not Filipino. He's been doing it since the '90s. Yeah. I didn't know who Joe Coy was. So Joe Coy is, in my opinion, is the uh, Filipino version of. Uh, uh, Peters. Okay. Russell? Russell Peters. So right. he had one good YouTube special and it's kind of... Sad. I mean, yeah, that. I mean, I don't know if Joe Coy has stolen jokes because we know Russell Peters has, but um, oh, more specifically around, it's like a lot of like accents, like funny cultural things, mm. right? Um, which is cool for your for your base. Right. Uh, but when I watch it, I feel like you're, he's leaning heavy on like the cultural aspects of things. So like he talks about his mom a lot mm. and what makes the stories about his mom funny the stories themselves could be a little funny, but he's also doing it in the in like an anti Filipino accent. Hilarious! So it, it helps. It the definitely Filipino helps. Filipino anti accents are really funny. It's great, right? Um, so it's stuff like this. So when I'm watching, is I think I don't even I don't I I don't pay too much notice to Joe Coy mm -hmm. because of the fact that I feel like it's almost cheerleading mm -hmm. because you got a lot of Filipinos love him for mm -hmm. good reason. I think he's funny in, in like within that ecosystem. Yeah, also named two Filipino comedians. It's tough out here. It is. It is. Um, in the same way, like, you know, fluffy, uh, he's got his base sure. base loves him mm -hmm. and they ride with him ride or die. Yeah. However, Joe Coy was, uh, pro was given the opportunity to do the, Glo the golden globes on 10 days notice. That's a tough assignment, man. It is. I mean, if somebody is like, you're going to have to do an assignment yeah. in 10 days, you're like, am I going to pass? Also, it's well known hmm. that any of these hosting gigs is a very tough thing to do. It's hard to turn down, though, right? In it, a way. True. But that is your greed. That's overcoming your your uh, your, uh, your fin ego. Financially, but also like you're, a golden, you, you're hosting the awards that Chris Rock did, that Seth Meyers, that Joanne Rivers did, right? So you like, it is still greed. Yeah, it is. It is great. And here's the deal, though. I mean, you need to be two things and you could be two things separately mm -hmm. or two of those things together. You need to be absolutely funny hmm. for sure. You absolutely need to be funny. Hmm. And you should also understand the um, the industry. I think that's almost more important than act. You know, like I feel like there are people who are less funny. Yeah. Who understand I, the industry. I yeah. think like a Seth Meyers. Tina Fey. A Tina Fey. Right. right? She knows the industry yep. and funny. Mm -hmm. There is no way I would ever think that Tina Fey would, like she would do an amazing job mm. because she knows both things. Yeah. Joe Coy felt like it, it was like his, he was out of his depth. Bro. He was out of his depth. Yeah. Yeah. You can't, or if you want just to get a guy who's a raw comedian, mm -hmm. it needs to be a comedian that doesn't want to be in movies. Right. It would right. be like an Andrew Schultz or a Rick, you know, when Ricky Gervais did yeah, it, yeah. he's just a complete outsider. Yeah. That's and he's like, guy. I don't give a fuck about any of you people. Yeah. It doesn't matter. There's no deal here that I want. Right. I, and Ricky is already like, he's well established, right? Yeah. As a, as he's like, comedian. I'm from over there. Yeah. I'm from another continent. <laughs> I do just fine. Yeah. And so you needed to be a comedian that held yourself in like, I'm, I'm not even entertaining you. I, this is funny for the people who are watching this sh at home. But he, uh, Joe Coy was trying to trying to straddle too many lines at the same time. 
He wanted to be a funny comedian. He wanted to host. He didn't know too much about the industry, but wants to be part of the industry. He wants to get in, probably wants to make like, you know, shorts and Netflix short series about his life and like Filipino culture and everything like that. You could see he's inklings of that. We've almost, we tried to watch one of them. They were not good. Um, and he fell flat on his face, dude. Man. It was rough. I feel bad for him. Yeah. Because, you know, when you're about to take something on a 10-day notice, you're like, what's the worst that can happen? It's <laughs> like, you do bad in front of the industry. Yeah. The industry you're, that you're trying to get And into, then the yeah. people. Because yeah. it's even at, like just watching, I was like, this is painful yeah, to a large extent. It's, yeah, it was a, it was a rough go. It's, it's not good when you as the host are like, I didn't write this one. Somebody uh, else wrote that. Bro. The that's... ones you're laughing at, I wrote. And like, that's not good, dude. It's not a good sign. You can't do that. You got to also, if you're, when you're on stage, you got to take your lumps now, Man, <laughs> right? You sign off on, the, on what know. you're going to say. I mean, you don't, it, whatever money it is, I definitely, it's probably not even a lot of money. It's more the prestige. Prestige aspect. of doing gold. Like, what are you going to get? Gold okay, 10,000, 20,000. like they're going to give you, you know, hundreds of thousands. So Also, the, the people who are doing the casting at the Golden Globes, let's mm. put this aside. He's going to say yes to it, but most right. people are going to say yes to it. Like, oh, whatever, I'm going to take a swing, yep. right? Um, people who are casting, you got to, uh, you got to, you got to select them more carefully. Yeah, you gotta you gotta select more carefully. Well, what are your options? That's true. The ones who the ones who are really good at it mm. are over it. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. over it they're because it's, also. Sorry, brother. Go they're ahead. not gonna have anybody white do it, right? What? Like, oh, because industry. Because there's yeah, yeah, nobody. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All those people are white already, so you have to have the host be of color. Ideally, I mean, if, I, ideally for their for their. Uh, if you can help targets. it, yeah. right? You go like, all right, Kevin Hart. Well, we got this tweet. He said, "Fag." No, now nah, he's never gonna. He's never gonna do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I can't even name a lot of people that would be, you know, viable. And nobody, none of these people know who Joe Coy is. Even the people who are there, like Joe Coy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here, here's the thing. Um, Golden Globes and the Oscars and everything else mm -hmm. should be a closed ceremony. Mm. Let them enjoy it. Okay. It doesn't need to be publicized. We don't give a shit. The, uh, what I mean Slow to say, it all the way down. what I mean to say is that like the popularity of the Glo Golden Globes yeah. and the Oscars has dropped by like seventy percent over the course of the last ten years. So you're saying have the event, just don't show it. What That's I, their whole thing. <laughs> what I mean to say is that like the as time goes on, yeah. more and more people don't care about it. Right. In so much that now you won't even get the top celebrities to do... Like, it's going to be even more difficult mm -hmm. for you to be able to get a top celebrity, uh, like a good comedian, to do it. Get an industry person that's kind of funny, hmm. and then just do that. That's a fair idea, I think. And, then, and people who are regular people, like, I, I feel like the, the luster of all of it has gone away. Yeah. Um, a, lot of, a lot of it. Social media killed it. Social media killed this thing. Because then that's when you found out what people actually think exactly. about Exactly. Because they gave us too much of them. Yeah. We only wanted to watch them as actors and actresses mm. and as performers. Mm. That's cool. Right? But these are not personalities that's worthwhile following. You know what? You're, you're right. You're definitely right. I'm just trying to figure out when the shoe dropped. Because there was, a, like, when Goodwill Hunting was up there and Titanic, people mm -hmm. would watch. Yeah. And frankly, those beginnings, when it was Billy Crystal in front of a green screen, going from song from song to song, yeah. it was highly entertaining. The thing is, the, 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 the show, Oscars and Golden Globe, it provided access mm -hmm. to people that the general public had limited access to. Right. And so then you got to see him like, I normally see him on screen, but look how nice he is when he's hugging that kid on the red carpet. Right. So you kind of got like a little piece of what they are in real life. Right. Now we have too much of their right. real life. We yeah. don't like, I'm seeing, I'm seeing what's her name planting in her garden. I'm seeing what's his name running with his, with his golden retriever, like Chris Pine or whatever, uh, like uh, Captain America. He took a picture of his dick and he put it up on Instagram by accident. Did he? For like 20 minutes. Did you see it? No, I didn't see it. Okay. But, you know. <laughs> I was like, 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 I was like what? That, that, we've seen too much. Yeah. I don't need to. I, I like, know. I like Chris Evans. I like that you, you couldn't come up with the name of the dog walker. You're like, I'm going to go nuclear. <laughs> we shot this guy's dick. <laughs> and you're like, what? You're right. That's too much. I agreed. I agreed with the dog walking, bro. You didn't have to bring this into it. But no, I agree. And uh, now we got too much of it. We're spoiled for it. So there's less interest. Chris Pine is not Captain. But which one posted it? Chris Evans. Chris Evans did. Yeah, okay. Chris Evans. I was just Sorry. making sure. Sorry. Yeah. I was like, Chris yeah, let's Pine. not besmirch the name of Chris, Chris Pine. Chris Pine and his, you know, 
I like Chris Pine too. Who doesn't? I mean, we like all of these guys yeah. until you see their dick. You're yeah. like, hey, dude. <laughs> I didn't not, need to see that. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to watch the Oscars anymore. That's how much of you I've seen. You're actually right. I think you're you're right. It was um it was actually like a little bit of a treat mm-hmm. that you get to see how they are when they're actually happy yeah. or something. Mm-hmm. And then when you've had too much, you're like, I don't care. Yeah. I just assumed younger people would care because I was younger when I kind of cared. Mm-hmm. But nobody cares. No. No. But they're gonna keep doing it. Like it's not like they're gonna be like well, there's there's some level of money to be had. There's some level of like advertisement it, fees. I mean, uh, venue. Yeah, uh, and also revenue. like, if they don't do it, who's like, how do they congratulate themselves? Yeah, and that's the part that I feel weird being part of. Mm. Right? I, I, you know what? I like I like it when actors just do it for the for the love of the sport. You like a good Daniel Day Lewis? Yeah, you know, bro. Even you know, I'm gonna say it. Tom Cruise. Sure. He just loves making this shit. Yeah, he loves it so much. At the beginning of his movies, now he's like, "Thanks for coming to the theaters to watch. We made this with all of our heart. We mm-hmm. hope you appreciate it. We hope you love it." Yeah, man. right. It's one of those things. I mean, you know, he's weird. He's a Scientologist. He believes in aliens, mm-hmm. but at the same time, I feel like he's just like he doesn't. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's true. seriously. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, at this point, yeah, right? at this point. But I feel like I like the actors that are like, "This is I do this because this is the coolest thing for me to do. Mm-hmm. I love doing it." I want you to be happy. Mm-hmm. Like I want you to watch it and, and walk out of the movie like you were. You felt like a kid when you watch Home Alone or like Star Wars. Like I want to recreate this feeling for you. And this is what I do. Like stand-up comedians when they do that too, they share their pain, they share whatever. Mm. But like it's for the love of mm-hmm. the sport, right? It's the thing. They go on the stage, they do the thing, they see the laughs, they see people happy, and they're like, yes. I know I'm generalizing, but there's something honest about that. Mm. Like a, a comedians are one of the last. F- like honest, like art forms. You still got to go on that mic. You still have to train out a, a set for a year, mm-hmm. respect it like it's your baby, mm-hmm. give it to someone. And if they enjoy it, you're like, yeah, I'm happy. Same thing for movies. I like a good actor that does it for the love of the game. Mm-hmm. He, doesn't, he doesn't care about red carpets. He doesn't care about Oscars. He doesn't show up to uh, like uh, award ceremonies and things like that. He might, and you just go in get your set, but it's not a big thing for him. Mm-hmm. The big thing is that you get to make this shit all the time. And that's what's cool. And if we treat these people like that, we probably would get better, better uh, content because yeah. we're getting shit content now. Yeah, I it's it's one of those things where like you know you can tell yourself like I I used to tell myself like if I don't watch it, it won't bother me. But then you watch some of it, you're like so stupid. <laughs> but you know it's it's good to see it. I guess die. I mean I know it's not dead, mm-hmm. but you're like I'm good to see it decline because I think it's yeah. it's a little too much. It's it's yeah it's declined too. I don't think if people I think the last year's was the the worst rated one. This year's probably worse. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I think we're it should be phased out at some point. Yeah. You know, but it probably won't. Yeah, just do it like the Cannes Festival. You know when I see a movie and it's got the Cannes logo on the po- poster? Mm-hmm. I'm like, "Oh, that might be might be a good movie." Because mm-hmm. it got like an you know, uh what is it? What is it? Cannes is essentially like ind- ind- independent? I think so. Anyway, Basically, I see a logo of the like Cannes Film Festival, something or other. I know, like this is might be a good indie movie. Yeah, let's go watch it. Yep. I didn't watch Cannes yep. to see what the rankings were. Mm-hmm. I just know that it means some level of like, like it, it's probably made the cut. Like it's a cut above the rest. Right. Same thing for Golden Globes. Put the name on it. Give me the logo. Yeah. Let me see it. I'm like, okay, probably it's got it's got some things that's worthwhile here. Yep. And that's all I need it for. I think Golden Globes should go the opposite of the Oscars mm. in terms of being woke. We're like, you know what? Let's get the white guys. Yeah. And let's only put up white people and see how that split tests against the Oscars and be like, no. you know what? Apparently it needs to be all white. <laughs> I think we're going in the wrong direction. We misread the audience. <sighs> that was tough. <laughs> Billy Crystal was great. Billy Crystal was great. You have Billy. Ricky, Cr- Ricky was great. Ricky was good. Yeah. Ricky you was- put Chris Rock on it and he got slapped. <laughs> Chris Rock's in it like... Yeah, he's done it like multiple times. Yeah, he didn't get slapped Oscars. each time. Yeah, yeah, he always shines yeah. at whatever he does. I mean, he definitely gets slapped, but even he's he shown through that he was... No, he's good. He came out of that mm-hmm. with the best career. Oh my God, dude. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy, right? You get assaulted and in, in, in on stage Yeah. and just maintained his dignity. Yep. Put out one special, stop talking about it right after. Yeah. And that was it. Yeah, man. That's uh, the benefit of being a comedian. You're like, I'll get the last word because all I got is words. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, get yeah, to yeah. say my words. This is the reason why people watch me. Yeah. It's words only. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the special was pretty good. I wish, I, I think it could have been better. Yeah. Cleaner. I, there were like literal missteps in his 
speaking. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, yeah. that's what you do when you do a live. There's no edit. Yeah, I guess so. Because you could have edited some of that. Yeah, I should have cut it down. It would have been cleaner. But Netflix probably came to him like, hey, we want to do our first live. Yeah. Co- like, first right, one. He's like, yeah. I've been doing live all my life. <laughs> yeah, they were like, and they probably paid him extreme. I don't know. Net- Netflix was paying they money pay. that made no sense to me. Yeah. They do pay the, the comedian paychecks are ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense because yeah. I'm like, you're not getting ten million dollars new subscribers for this comedy special. What mm-hmm. are you doing? But, yeah, you know, it's got to be worth something in their calculus. I don't know how anything works. I think everything is leveraged for the future, right? Until the company, you know, I yeah. <laughs> I don't know how these things work anymore. Yeah, it's not correlated to what you would think it would be correlated to. Yeah. But I'm happy. I'm happy that they've decided that they need to throw money at comedians because, it's, yeah, it's fun to see. It's it's always good to see. Yeah. You know, definitely. It's also like for an hour's worth of time or forty five minutes worth of time. It's it's a great time spent. Yeah, just like yeah, you, you could watch a sitcom. Mm-hmm. You could watch Brooklyn Nine Nine mm-hmm. five episodes mm-hmm. for you to be able to get close to like a thirty minute amount of the yeah. thirty amount of laughs that you'll get out of stand up comedian. Especially a good one, mm-hmm. right? Um, you have to watch a lot of content for you to get f- f- kind of happy. Yeah, in, in this, in this, in a shorter amount of time. So sometimes, if you want to be, if you want to be happy, yeah. it's good to have stand up. Who's uh, hosting the next Oscars? Do you know? I don't know. Let me check. Let's check, bro. Because this gotta, is they got to put Will Smith all the way in the back. No, they're not giving Will Smith's oh, not banned. allowed he's anymore. Yeah, 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 he's banned for ten years. Yeah, I don't think he's coming on the eleventh. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. Watch him make the best movie for the eleventh one, where they got to give it back to him. He won't. He has bad. He has bad. Um... If he shuts everything down for nine years, maybe he comes back stronger than ever. Jimmy Kimmel. Okay. Yeah. Down the middle. Down the middle. He understands the industry. Yeah, he He's interviewed it. most of these. It's exactly what you were saying. Yeah. Like have Letterman do it. You know. Mm. Ooh. Oh, Letterman. You you like Letterman still, eh? Yeah, but yeah. then again, like I've been watching Letterman since longer than you've been watching Dave Chappelle. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like I've been watching Letterman since I was a kid, and yeah. he was had hair. Yeah, man, that was some grainy footage. Yeah, I go back and watch some Letterman. I'm like, man, well, I, well, this was the best we had. Right, just shooting it with a toaster. Uh, do I have anything else for you? No, that's it, man. Actually, what are we at? We're twelve fifteen, so it's probably time for us to go. Thank you for oh, the listening. time. Is twelve fifteen? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We have Jim and Amaz. It's Friday. Yeah, we gotta go and be, be uh, good Muslims. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being with us. Free Palestine. Take care of yourselves.